Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I'm off to Forwards Festival this afternoon to speak on a panel. It's titled, The World is F***ed, What Can I Do? Which I really, really like as a title. And I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. I have on my Palestine football shirt and I've also borrowed a couple of necklaces from my mum. I'm also trying out a side party again. So, not sure how we all feel about that. My shorts are secondhand, as are my boots. As you can see, I've covered or attempted to cover the label with some pins. Since we last saw each other, I finished Avoidance, Drugs, Heartbreak and Dogs by Jordan Stevens. I absolutely adored this. If you're looking for a book to get you back into reading, this might be the one because it is just so readable. It's so funny. It's so kind of fast paced. It's quick witted. It's deep. It's interesting. It feels so fresh. It's unlike anything I think I've read before. I felt like I was totally in Jordan's world and inside his head. And I love how he writes. It genuinely feels really original. I just want to read these couple of lines. This is about his partner and love. Loving her is like knowing the bread's Warm. It's the half a second before I press play on my favourite record. It's a question in a quiz I know the answer to. I'm just making a snack for the journey, which is peanut butter. I'm going to add a Palestinian date. This is genuinely like one of my favourite, favourite, favourite things to eat. I have this every day at the moment. Add a little salt, sandwich together. Guys, we made it, I'm back. I just made myself some dinner. I'm trying to use up what we have in the fridge. P.S. This is the best sauce. We don't always have it, so when we do, it feels like a huge treat. So it is Monday, it's the 2nd of September. I cannot believe we're in September. I can't believe we're back to school. I can't believe it's a new term. It feels as though yesterday was January, so I'm finding this all a bit overwhelming, if I'm honest. Yesterday's festival at Forwards in Bristol was so great. I really, really enjoyed myself. I wanna give a huge shout out to the, to the organizers of the festival because sustainability is really, usually it's like an add-on for festivals, but for them, it's it's everything, it's all of it. It's really good to see people in the events industry making such an effort to champion sustainability and to put the climate crisis at the forefront of what they're doing. On the panel was Grace Blakely, who you might know from the Say No to Shein campaign that I'm running, we're co-organizing that together. Petra from Palestine Solidarity Campaign, Years from Novo, and it was hosted by Disraeli, who is a musician and composer who really conducted the conversation in a way that flowed because obviously it's a huge topic and we're all coming at it from quite different angles and he orchestrated it really well which is no easy feat if you've ever hosted a panel with multiple speakers on a really broad topic you will know how hard that is i feel like i just take notes and learn not only from my fellow speakers but also from the audience who always come up with really great questions and i would have really liked to have stuck around however my period is on its way which means i am functioning from a place of my body feeling completely disconnected from my head the only thing i did do was i popped in to the shell bus which i also saw at glastonbury i wanted to get a little bit of merch from Spelling Mistakes Costs Live. He's called Darren, he's an incredible artist. I had no idea what he looked like. Went to the stall to look at badges and, and patches and stuff, which I'll show you in a second. And Darren was there and he was like, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Darren. I was like, and I was a bit starstruck because I had no idea what he looked like and I, I genuinely am obsessed with his work. I think it is so brilliant. As you might remember yesterday on these shorts, I was covering up this brand logo with a few pins. It wasn't that comfortable and it didn't look that great, let's be honest. So I bought one of the Spelling Mistakes Cost Lives iron-on patches and I'm gonna put that here. Later this week, I'm going to New York, which I think is kind of adding to my hormonal-ness because I really, really hate flying. I hate the experience of being in the air because um, Double Virgo, very controlling, likes to be in control. When one is on a flight, one has no control. One's life is simply in a stranger's hands. So yes, I'm a terrible flyer since 2020. It's a new thing. I used to be okay with flying and now I'm absolutely not. So I'm kind of 
going to be thinking of ways that I can distract myself on the flight. It's usually when there's turbulence or kind of anything unexpected. I've done a lot of research, guys. I'm very informed about how the plane works, what certain sounds mean, what certain movements mean, how to be as safe as possible. Always keep your seatbelt on. Always stay with your seatbelt on. Awesome. Yes, I love it. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna cover like all of my branded clothes with patches. Decided, it's decided. I just had my first meeting in a while about the Say No to Shein campaign. And we kind of dropped the ball a little bit over the past couple of weeks because other stuff has come up and you know, people need to take holiday and stuff. Looking forward to mine in October. I wanted to show you this. I've been featured in Ethical Consumer magazine, which is super, super cool. By the way, Ethical Consumer is such a great magazine. I would genuinely highly recommend a subscription. Full disclosure, I have worked with them. I have a digital and an imprint subscription. And this magazine is one of my favorite things to read like before bed or like on a weekend. They just have such a good selection of topics and issues. And I know you guys would really, really appreciate their work, especially if you're kind of looking for the best products um, for specific categories. And they're also really, really great on Palestine and boycotting around Palestine, and they have been for years. So they're a super great organization or cooperative, I should say. And it's a great privilege to be featured in them. I've started outfit planning for New York and I try to take pictures of all of the outfits that I like and kind of use that as a way to figure out exactly what I want to bring. I find this a really useful hack. I've been on a bit of a mad one trying to get ready for this trip and trying to juggle all my work at the same time. Like it's really nice to be preparing for a big trip and having a really busy time. It's not something when you're self-employed you know, you can take for granted. I am nearly finished packing. And basically Max has this yellow tape that he uses for labeling like ingredients and recipes that he's made. When I pack, I like to separate things into different bags. And I've basically taken what he does in the kitchen, but for packing, just because I'm gonna be moving around a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna to need to be able to go, okay, that's that and that's that and that's that. And because of the way my brain is, I never know what anything is. Or maybe that's very normal to just not know what anything is. I've been doing it for like everything really. I have to finish packing and I'm gonna have a quick shower and then I'm gonna get into bed and try and get some sleep because tomorrow I'm waking up I think about 6 a.m. Hello pals and welcome to London. I was in Neil's yard doing a recce of a store for or a few spaces for a future event and I saw this really cute looking shop and I bought myself a couple of rings. Definitely wanted some more blue jewellery because I think I wear so much blue these days and this little rose as well. I love them. I just ordered Mildred's, which feels like such a treat. Guys, I don't get to do this in the countryside. One chorizo arancini, one, excuse my pronunciation, bokkenbap bowl. This is the first. Mmm, 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 that is juicy. Doesn't this look nice? I went with the no cutlery option, so obviously I'm gonna be eating with the teaspoon that comes with the room. Hello pals, it is me from the future. I'm just editing this video and I am taking the decision for security reasons to actually not include this section of the video. I, in short, had a run in with the police. It was really quite traumatic and I still haven't fully processed what happened. Fortunately, I am safe and everything should be okay. But really what I wanna say in this section of the video is if you are involved in any sort of activism, please put your safety first. There are so many free trainings out there where you can learn what to do if you have a run-in with the police. It is so fundamentally important that we understand our rights, especially as the UK clamp down on all forms of activism and protest and disruption. I might be able to talk about this more in future and I would really like to because I really wanna share with you what happened. But for right now, for safety reasons, I'm just gonna close this bit here and we're gonna go to New York instead. Pals, hello, we're in New York City. It feels like a fever dream. I'm currently in Max's room because he's cooking at 11 Madison Park all week this week, which is just incredible. And last night he greeted me with 
11 Madison Park chocolate and their chocolate pretzels. I'm here to support my friends, the All Foundation, who I've spoken about so much on all of my different channels. And they work in Accra and Ghana, which is where much of the Global North textile waste ends up. This week is the relaunch of their Speak Volumes campaign and we are relaunching it in Times Square. It's all exceptionally exciting. My call time isn't until I think just before four o'clock. So I have some time to take myself a coffee. I'm gonna also go grab some lunch. I just wanna like get outside in the city and just feel that New York energy. Then I need to probably come back here and do some work and catch up on a few other things before I can be everything hands on deck, speak for you. So we're gonna go into the city together. We're gonna be walking a lot and it's sunny. So I'm just dressing for comfort and sunshine. I really stuck to the plan. I went for coffee at Stump Town. Then I had lunch at Peace Food Cafe, which is just reliable and delicious and healthy and lovely. And now I'm eating one of these EMP peanut butter and chocolate pretzels. Hello pals, I'm about to go to the Kalina Strada show. It's our first appearance with the zombie, which will make sense soon. And I've got this scarf on my head, this belt from Mimo. This is a stripe and stir tank. Thrifted camo pants, ballet flats, Camilla Bloom bag. One of my new rings on. <laughs> realized that this is my first time not with Max here in like since we got together so maybe like five or six years it's now the evening time it's a Sunday today this morning we did a webinar for an hour and then this afternoon I just have been here at my desk writing a script and writing some other things for videos that I'm making while I'm here and I went to Chelsea Market and I was gonna get uh, Mexican, but I actually decided on Korean. But I do really wanna try the Mexican that they have in there, so I might do that later this week. Anyway, I got this bibimbap bowl, and I got it with tofu and mushrooms and bean sprouts. Mmm, okay. Okay, mmm, mmm. Guys, check out the view. There's the Empire State Building. Team, hello. It is Tuesday today. Yesterday, we launched our billboard campaign in Times Square. We have a massive wraparound billboard with another one on top, all about clothing waste and the clothing waste crisis. This is part of the Speak Volumes campaign where we're asking brands to disclose the number of items of clothing they produce annually. I am so proud of every single person on this team who made this billboard happen. It looks incredible and it's just such a pinch me moment to have played a very very small part in this campaign which i've been working on behind the scenes kind of off social media and to see it launch in this big way in this world famous place is just honestly i've got shivers talking about it it's extraordinary and the team who have made this happen and everyone i'm working with are just such incredible brilliant people it's just been amazing so yesterday the billboards launched i was there at 10 a.m filming this moment and then yesterday afternoon we went around the city with our clothing zombie performed by jeremy hutchison who is just an incredible artist and i did vox pops which is sort of voice of the people interviews where i asked people how they felt about this zombie and also the fact that brands are refusing to tell us how many items of clothing that they need every year which is data that we desperately need if we're to create policy that is driven by data to regulate the industry and to make it fully transparent it was just incredible and there's something about the energy of the city which swoops me up I wore my favourite upcycled outfit. The top was from Revival. The trousers are from ELV Denim, which I've spoken about on this channel before. And also I was just in my element because I was working with a team, which I don't get to do in person as much as I would like. And I was making stuff, which is what I like to do. And then we went for the most delicious dinner at Hudson Clearwater um, in the West Village with the Atmos team. And it was so yummy. I had a baked vegan lasagna, which was chef's kiss um now it is oh my god it's 11 30 i don't know how this has happened I'm gonna go to the agency who we're working with they're called plural i'm gonna go to their office film a couple of lines of polyester and start editing my video so excuse the lack of updates from my side is honestly just because I feel like I'm running around like a bit of a headless chicken, but I'm loving it. It is now about six o'clock. I've just been in an edit hole for the past 
I want to say like two or three hours and I'm basically editing the video that we shot yesterday. I'm not 100% happy with it, to be honest. But anyway, I'm going to go try and get some, some blood pumping. I've got the gym to myself. At least I think I do. There's something about the light here. You don't get this light anywhere else. Although I, I do find it a bit dystopian that my gym plays the sounds of birds. By the way, I got some new running shoes. I found these on, I went on the Vivo Barefoot website, found the shoes I wanted, then went on Vinted, found the exact pair, brand new, unworn, for £70 off the original price. Just had some delicious cactus creamy tacos and now I'm like, fancy ice cream, so I'm off to Van Leeuwen. <laughs> Guys, this is wild. This is wild. He is wild. Hello, pals. It is now Thursday. I spent all of yesterday editing all of the videos that we shot the day before. I think I edited about six videos yesterday, so it was a full edit day. I didn't get much sleep because we were up at, I think it was about 5 a.m. for a shoot. And then this afternoon, I've just been doing emails and trying to catch up on like all of my UK work, which I think I've done successfully. And now I just got ready because I'm gonna go join the team for the rest of today's shoot. I'm also gonna be in a couple of pictures because I'm writing an article for Atmos, who you know I love all about my week with the zombie. I'm wearing this dress, which I bought in New York maybe like three or four years ago now. And then over the top, I've got this waist coat from Zai Atelier. And I went for like a loose plait in my hair. I'd love to curl my hair, but my hair colour doesn't work here. Classic uh, hair tools not working in another country. And then jewellery wise, got one of my mum's necklaces on along with my like usuals. And then I'm also wearing my mum's bracelets and my granny's ring and a ring I bought the other day that I showed you earlier in the vlog. I mean, it's all a bit all over the place, but I quite like, I quite like the vibes. Pals, we've not checked in today, but yesterday evening I went for dinner and drinks with Aisha Baron Black, who's the CEO of Remake and Liz, and it was heaven. And then today I went to, Liz and I had a meeting at a really wonderful Ukrainian restaurant, which I'd highly recommend. And this evening I'm meeting, I'm going to a gallery now with Jeremy and then I'm having dinner with Willow and then I'm having drinks with friends. So suddenly the work that I've been doing has like calmed down quite substantially and because it's Friday I think and now we are headfirst with seeing friends. Hey team, I'm currently in Madison Square Park and I'm about to go for a solo lunch at 11 Madison Park and I am so excited. Max just worked here. I think I'm in for a real treat. It is the day after I went to 11 Madison Park. It was voted the best restaurant in the world and then they decided to go vegan and it was voted the best restaurant in the world again. It was the best meal of my life. The staff just go over and above, beyond over and above and the food was just amazing i had a rice dish which was just so perfectly seasoned and rich and gorgeous i had a fried aubergine dish which was just light and airy but just so moorish as well the bread was absolute standout it was like a flaky croissant of brioche and then desserts there was a mochi and the most incredible sort of strawberry vanilla bean cream as if like this wasn't enough they took me back to the kitchen i met chef dom who worked with max while max was here they made me like a little homemade ice lolly oh incredible so yeah then i called max facetimed him from the park and i started crying because i just feel it's just ridiculous that experience exists like this and i got to enjoy it just made me very very emotional for so many reasons which i'm sure you guys can understand and i don't want to sound too worthy or anything like that so i'm not going to go into the details but it was just 
amazing and then reflective and just a lot and i'm so 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 grateful that i had got to have that meal i'm gonna remember it for my entire life i saw a, a video a couple of days ago which was like they were like oh, maybe this is really woo woo but like everyone seems to have their thrive city like a city that they totally thrive in and in the comments people were like oh mine's london mine's this mine's that mine is new york hands down hands down like, there's something about the city that just like it initially overwhelms me and makes me feel very tiny and very totally overwhelmed and then after about three days i'm like i never want to leave so today it's sunday and today i'm gonna see my sister-in-law which i'm so 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 excited about i haven't seen her in a year so i'm just like itching to see her hello pals i just went for a lovely little run along the high line and then i went to oslo coffee to grab a coffee Came back, did a little bit of a stretch in the gym because my body's not used to running really at all. And now we're gonna do something very exciting. Oh my God. We are going to do a taste test of these delicious, I'm assuming delicious pastries. Okay, let's do it. Obviously I'm going for the chocolate one. Are you mad? Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm actually salivating. Oh my gosh. There's like some kind of like hazelnut cream. Mm. Mm. Guys, I just got back from Central Park, which was so hectic, but lovely. And it was so nice to spend a couple of hours with my sister-in-law. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to see her while I was here. So yeah, it was just so, so lovely. And I walked a lot today, so my legs are feeling a little bit tired. Guys, it's the next day and you might remember that I didn't eat this yesterday. Mm. The vanilla bean is so good. 